Okay, welcome back to Trailer Reactions again. Your favorite reactors. Um, Ray, Roland. Um, in the studio. Painting behind us. Some books as well. Um, some. We're going to be watching the trailer to the can the Candyman. Candyman, the remake uh, reboot by Jordan Peele. This is trailer number two, 2021. Uh, we've been waiting for this for a long time. Um, of course, pandemic kind of pushed everything back, which is fucking bullshit. Of course. Uh, they could have VOD'd all this shit, just like our saviors, Bill and Ted. All right. True. They sacrificed their uh, theater revenue I mean, to give us the comfort. They, they paved the way for a few others to do that shit. I mean, there was, there and was realistically, Mortal Kombat. There was... Uh, it, realistically, it was a saving grace to watch yeah, Bill and Ted's I, it's a good, It was a good fucking idea. Uh, hello, there's a market for that shit, you morons. Not everybody wants to pay 40 bucks for shitty popcorn. and I'd rather pay... $30 for a movie that I really want to see. And I could be I here at home and not have to listen to a bunch of idiots in the theater unless I'm paying for my own fucking theater, okay? Yes. If I'm there by myself <laughs> and fuck everyone else, all right, you know what? Here's my money. In that but, case, Roland, you need to be going like at fucking 11 o'clock in the morning. If I, yeah, if I'm, I'm, if I'm sur surrounded by fuckwits. Oh, and that's the other thing too. I... Mm, I don't like getting up early for the fucking theater. I like to See, go. I will. I, I like to go in the middle of the goddamn night. You know, I want to get out there dark and nobody's around. I can well, just that's, take a nah. nice slow drive home. Let me tell you right now, getting up early to go to the theater and knowing that no one's gonna fucking be there, it's fucking beautiful. It's great. Right. So like, I I just no. I want to go late and have nobody be there. All right? well, Give me that movie. Everyone experience. is going to be there when it's fucking late. Fuck Unless them. it's a movie that nobody fucking wants to see, but people are going to go watch Candyman, I fucking guarantee you. I mean, maybe. Um, I don't know if it's written or directed by Jordan Peele, but I know he's involved in it. Yeah. Uh, but Candyman 2, you want to roll it? All right. This is where it all began. The story of Candyman. It just looks so fucking cool. Yeah. Like the goddamn shots and the camera work. It looks... Well, even this little yeah. segment of them doing like these puppet kind of things or... Yeah. That's yeah. fucking badass. That is like really cool. <laughs> a couple weeks later, more razor blades and more candy. he been innocent. So he's who? Candyman ain't a he. Candyman's the whole damn hive. If you're out here looking for Candyman, you ask me, stay away. I feel really connected to this story. Go on. Right here, in this neighborhood, the legend started. Uh-huh. And the legend is, if we say hey, his name five, five times while looking at the That was three times, but hey. That was, yeah. <laughs> if they want to go five, then by all means. Whatever. Yeah. It's a nice round number. Candy. Sure. Anthony, no. <laughs> Producer Jordan Peele. Can, can, hey. Black people don't need to be summoning. I dare you. Don't say that. Say his name. Candyman. You better not do that last one. Candyman. Candyman. You want to be a part of the story, right? No. Say his name. Candyman. Anthony? Anthony. Anthony. Are you okay? Anthony. Oh. What the hell is going on? Anthony. This neighborhood is haunted. I think I made a mistake. I brought him back. Candyman isn't real. He told me he has a purpose for you. Tell everyone. <laughs> New to the neighborhood. <laughs> you should say it. Candyman. Say his name. I'm surprised we were like quiet through most of that. That looks fucking cool. Because it looks fucking cool as <laughs> shit. Yeah, I don't just, shut up. Don't say anything. Um, I was trying to figure what, out. What do you call that like uh, paper kind of uh, oh, this, puppetry that they're uh, doing? I, that is a nice way to like I animate it was, just uh, all with silhouette cutouts. Yeah, That's those are like just, uh, uh, shadow puppets, I think. You know, basically. Are, they, are they? Basically, yeah. It's basically what those are. Um, I'm trying to look at who the. Uh, 
who the guy because uh, the guy that plays the main role he looks familiar but I'm not sure not sure what other movies he comes out in uh, I think I do no but I want to make sure if it's him or not please, yeah he's please Black Manta sure. and Aquaman yeah <laughs> please make sure fuck you alright <laughs> I'm just trying For God's to be, sakes, make sure. I'm trying to be me and you're just being a bitch. <laughs> yeah, he plays uh he plays Black Mana in uh, the Aquaman movie, uh which Does I thought know. was pretty cool. I well, don't I, says, I don't so. very I don't recall that. I seen that movie fucking one time. I've seen the shit out of that movie. It's a good movie. Uh yeah. minus Amber Heard. Yeah, she really doesn't matter. She's just there and like uh, I was telling I was telling Jerry not too long ago that um I don't think she's acting in any of the movies she's ever in. She's just, she's playing herself. Like she's just playing a shitty person. <laughs> and it just happens to fit the you character. You know, she kind of has that look on her face the way she was in that. Like uh, a perpetual bitch. What do, you, what do you call that fucking, uh, is it deposition or some shit? Like oh, yeah, she's, yeah, uh, yeah. Where she's giving, giving her that, account of yeah, uh, what happened. Testimony and, or whatever. And he hit me. She's just, and, and then, yeah. And then head, and then hair eyes. And uh -huh. then it came around. And then. Johnny? <laughs> I'm like, what the f scene? Shit, the fuck out of here, lady. Scene. Can I go now? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, I need some talk. <laughs> so, I mean, this movie looks really cool. Um, yeah. I'm kind of interested to see how they approach the story because, I mean, we know. Um, I mean, I've seen it. I hope anyone out there who's so, seen it, the original with Tony Todd. Yeah. Um, was it a Clive Barker thing? I don't think uh, so. I don't know dude. why I thought it was Clive Barker. Uh, well, it could it's because it's just. It just seems like something. Uh, it seems Clive Barkerish. Yeah. Body horror, hook hand, tash, bees. Uh, um, had Virginia Madsen, which I would hope she kind of make. I hope she makes an appearance. I mean, I really don't know if she's going to or not. Um, but I'm pretty sure the casting uh, list is out, so I didn't see her name. For the films, can he? Yeah, you're right. He was a yeah. short story uh, from uh, by Clive Barker yeah, called, called the, the Forbidden, uh, Forbidden. the Books of Blood anthology. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, I know it had like a Clive Barker's little sprinkling on there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's a very distinct form of uh, of a horror. Um, I think at one point uh, they referred to it as, uh, and it sounds cheese baldy as hell but i mean i still kind of like it it's called a splatter punk uh type of writing where it's just this very very unique form of is it like a, is it because they use like um a lot of body hard descriptions within the i assume so uh he's i mean anybody that's read clive barker uh He's just one of those ones that it's like a lot of his his writing and his descriptions are they're you know unique to him. They're, they're, I don't read. I've had, I mean I I can't say that I've read too too much horror uh, that I can think of off the top of my head. I probably I probably have if I gave myself a minute. But uh, most of the Clive Barker stuff I always remember as just being very graphic and it was fucking cool as shit. Yeah. Um, uh, I I mean, I read The Hellbound Heart, which is also yeah, have yeah, that whole element to it, the Hellraiser. Um, but also um, the first like two or three chapters of uh, Scarlet Gospels, which is apparently like... A, I had a copy of the Books of Blood around here somewhere. The last, one and two. Um, the last appearance of the Pinhead character. Right. Um, that for, Those first uh, two or three chapters are pretty graphic in their descriptions on how they are... Uh, pretty much like dismembering people and these, mm -hmm. these uh, witches or wizards that are uh, in there. But I mean, it's, it's fun to read. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but like, uh, I feel like they're taking those, um, they're keeping a lot of the good elements of the original Candyman in here, but just putting a new spin on it. Yeah. But that little um, uh, flashback interpretation uh, with the paper cutouts and the shadow puppetry, that looks really fucking cool. That was cool. a really and cool little... That uh, a uh, little um, setup. I, I'm pretty sure I, there's gonna be someone who's bitching out there about the flashback, almost being like it's like cheap and like there isn't isn't too graphic and stuff like that. Or uh, mm -hmm. it's not like the original. You know, I, I don't even think they in the. I think they only go part two, part three is where they actually go like a flashback of his actual history, where they show, show him like like getting his hand cut off or something. Right. Like, yeah. I'm shoving the fucking bees in his mouth. <laughs> um, uh, where they get a little bit more uh, detailed on his history, uh, but the way they're doing it here um, is seems very unique. I'd never seen that 
before, but I'm pretty sure someone has done it in their films. Uh, you could probably, it seems like it's reminiscent of uh, like those old black and white uh, silent films. Okay. It's what it seems like. I don't know. I'm, I don't know I shit. I like so. how all of the scenes look grim and dark as fuck, even within broad daylight. Like when they're in that laundromat and the guy's right. telling him the, the story of, of Candyman, it, it's just, it looks like, it looks very just, I don't know. Uh, it looks very fucking much like a, like a horror movie. It looks very cinematic, I guess, yeah. to me. And so I wasn't really expecting that. Um, but it looks fucking cool. So, yeah. So I'm ready, ready, fucking ready. I mean, it kind of want to. It kind of makes me want to go back and watch all the other ones. Even though, really, you could probably just watch the first Candyman and be fine. You can watch the first three. I don't know if there's more than that. Uh, I think there right. was, or even the first two, at least. Uh, uh, I know it gets kind of see. murky, like uh, Hellraiser, like. Someone There's else takes man, the rings and then uh, you're watching some other shit bird Farewell movie. to the Flesh, Day of the Dead. I think that's it, actually. Um, yeah, so I guess it's just those three. But uh, I think I've seen the... F I forget if I've seen the first and the second or the first and the third. I don't know that I've sat through all of them. Let me see. Yeah, no. I just I just see those three, so... Whatever. It looks cool. Yeah. I'm looking forward to it. Uh, anything that uh, Jordan Peele is involved in typically, I mean, looks is pretty interesting. Uh, even though I think they recently canceled... Um, Twilight Zone. The Twilight Zone, yeah. Which Well, didn't they fucking have it on like uh, a paid service? Like I'm not sure. Nobody fucking wants. It's. I mean, it had two seasons, but... Uh, yeah. yeah, but I wanted to watch it. I was down was it, to watch it. Was it, it on it. Apple TV or some no, shit? No, it was like on ABC... Uh, streaming i'm like i'm yeah. not gonna fucking pay for abc yeah, streaming Fuck that's right that. yeah they fucked themselves with that noise yeah like why would you do that i mean exclusivity they i mean they got fucking paid why would they care well I, they got I paid but i mean like then the show just goes up in the air and no one watches that shit yeah uh, maybe maybe they should just put it on shutter right just put it on fucking shutter already like stop yeah, dicking around that'd be cool that's we'll where see. it should be anyways that's where it should be like they're the way they revamped fucking creep show just fucking put it on shutter End of story. Done. Ha. Oh, it's coming out August 27th, so... Right around the corner. Mark your calendars. Anyways, it's coming out this year. Um, Halloween. Uh, yeah. Lots of cool shit. Yeah, don't wait till Halloween, please. Just fucking release the goddamn movie. We've waited too long, all right? Right. I'm not worried about what's going on in fucking Israel or like any sort of third world country. I just want to see my movies. Yeah. I'm kidding. I'm, Obviously. I do want to see my movies, but like... We'll just cut that out. Yeah. <laughs> That'll be it. 